Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Since the last episode, I was doing a little bit of work here. Uh, so we've got full smelting on iron. We have another full smelting line on copper. Uh, I did put a radar and a turret down there. Um, and then I've been playing a little bit with the with the layout. Uh, so I put I put some stone paths in between these two sections. And I think what I'll do is I'll put the steel down here below the iron. That way we can have all the iron ore running into the same location. And then I'll put stone brick just below that uh, since we have a big stone patch right here. Um, and then that'll be pretty much all that we need in the starter base for smelting. Four iron, four copper, one steel, and one stone brick. So uh, we'll get started on that today. Um, also, I've just temporarily, I've added a few furnaces here on the end just to start making some steel plate that I can use to make power poles. Um, I was rethinking the layout of the city blocks, and I think that even though this is kind of a waste of uh, big power poles, I, I think I'll set it up this way. You know, so we'll have four of these, one in each corner of the intersection. And then this is, you know, this is one full distance of a large power pole. Um, and I think we can use that to define, at least to define the width for each section. Um, now the height of it, you know, the bus, imagine we have the bus running this way and then we'll have all of our little production areas up here, right? Um, so the height of it, I may, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to segment it like this or not, but, uh, we'll at least do it on the width. That way we'll have a nice, uh, orderly layout in the main base. All right. So I'm going to clean this up for now. I just was messing around with this to try to come up with something that I thought would work well. So we got to pick up this brick and then we'll start making steel smelting. And we'll do stone as well, uh, if we have time today. I think we will. It doesn't take long. Okay. Um, I used some grenades to blast a, a path through the forest over there. So I think we'll take the car back to the main base. I need to go, or back to the starter base. The jump start base. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting mixed up on my own terminology here. What we're building now is the starter base. What we've already built is the jump start base. All right. So I'm going to pick these up. And I need to get rid of some of this coal. I've got too much here. And let's throw a light up here. Uh, I do need some inserters. Actually, I'm probably going to need even more than that. Um, I'm going to put grenades in slot five, and I'm going to craft a bunch of long inserters because we're going to need those for the steel. Let's um, let's bump this up to four stacks. I've got plenty of circuits. I should grab some gears. And let's grab some belts as well. So my inventory is just about full at this point. All right, and I'm going to need to craft a few splitters. I'm going to need to craft some undergrounds. Um, I think aside from that, I should be okay. Now, why did I get... Oh, I know why I got so few of these yellow inserters is because I turned most of them into red ones just now. So let me just grab what we've got on the belt here. Cause we're going to need a lot of inserters to take care of this iron smelting line. Okay. And I've got lots of grenades left still. So I don't need to grab any more. Wonderful. 
All right. Better make a few more of those. Uh, no. Okay. And we'll pick up the car. All right. So first let's lay out uh, the limits of this. One, two, and one, two. Okay. Uh, how many furnaces do I have? 37. That's not gonna be enough, is it? All right, let's, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to make another trip. Need to go back and get some stone because we are going to need a lot more furnaces than that. Okay, there's 40 and 40 more. Maybe I should research that tool belt, huh? I'm starting to run out of room for things. Craft that. There, okay. Wow, that was some pretty good driving there. I'm surprised I didn't hit anything. <laughs> Usually not that good with the car. All right, so um, steel looks a lot like iron, except that we have an extra belt running down the center. Uh, because what we're gonna do is the outside is gonna be just like this. We're gonna have ore and coal going into furnaces. Um, but then we need to have another row of furnaces where we turn that into we turn the iron plates into steel and then the steel comes out. All right, and then we're gonna have two belts here in the middle. One will carry coal so that we can feed these furnaces here. Okay, so it'll look a little bit like this. And then the output, we're gonna use these long inserters so that they insert on the second belt. And then we mirror it on the other side. So that's how steel goes. So the tricky part is getting the coal set up. All right, so we start, we start with something like this, as we normally do. That's for coal and iron ore. Let's see, what's the cleanest way that I can do this? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So now we got a line of coal, and then uh, this one will carry, oh, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do this here. No, that's not gonna work either. Okay. Um, okay. I see my problem. I'm putting the coal on the wrong side of the belt here. And my inventory is full. All right, let's delete that blueprint. Now I can pick up that coal and we'll just throw it in those furnaces. 
Okay, let's try this again. All right, so let's do the coal here. Yeah, this will work. Okay, and then iron can go there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divert this first line of iron. Okay, wonderful. All right, and then over here, we're gonna need two sets of power poles to get that covered. And we'll bring this one down here, I suppose. Okay. So once this gets five plates, then it'll start to make steel, which you'll see here in just a moment. There we go. All right, and that's how we do that. Um, and then I'm going to make it the same length. It's going to be 24 furnaces on each side. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. All right, and I'm going to shut these off. Actually, I'll just turn off the inputs let them finish smelting what they need to. Since I'm gonna be making steel down here, I don't need additional steel being made up there. Okay, and now I can use these poles above as a guide for the second row. And that makes putting down these furnaces a little bit easier. There we go. So now I just have to repeat this a bunch of times. Okay. That's a quick way to do it. Oh, man. These are all turned the wrong way. And then uh, once this is running, this will, this is still not going to fill um, a yellow belt with steel uh, because this quantity of furnaces on each side would fill a yellow belt if we were only making iron plate. But because the steel plate is, you know, it takes five iron for one steel, uh, we're actually, we're only going to be using like one fifth of this belt, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, and now we just need to repeat this thing on the other side. All right, so I'll just start by laying out the furnaces. You know, I don't know, I guess for me, if I'm, whether I'm doing poles first, I guess it is faster with poles first because when you do the poles first, you can drag the furnaces. But if you do the furnaces first, you can't drag the poles because they actually want to go farther. 
So I guess it is probably slightly quicker if you do this by laying out the poles first. Okay. And then we run this down here. I think this is probably the fastest I've ever set up a steel line. Okay. Now in this case, the red inserters on this side need to face the same way because in this case, the red inserters are grabbing the coal and putting them into these furnaces, right? But then all the other inserters, well, and the yellow inserters are going to be facing the same way too. And those are going to be the ones taking out the steel. And then the other inserters will be mirrored. Okay, so we've done as much mining productivity as we can. Um, let's do tool belt. I think it's a good time to do that now. We're starting to get more stuff we need to carry around. Whoops. All right, and am I going to run out? Yes, I am. Let's see. Well, I can handcraft a bunch. Awesome. Um, you know, the other thing you, you probably don't even need to do, <laughs> you probably don't even need to do steel right now at this point in the game. If you're, uh, if you're playing along, um, cause it's going to be a while before we need steel on the bus actually. But, um, but I do want to start using steel to make the large power poles so that we can use that to set up the, the city blocks that I mentioned. So. Only if I got, yeah, so we'll have a good quantity of these plates. And then I'll go ahead and I'll make a stack of steel axes. Those will last me for a while. And then I'll go ahead and make as many big power poles as I can. All right. And then as for the lights, all right, let's put that on hold for a moment. I want some lights first. Those are going in like this, every other one. There, okay. Now we've got steel. Uh, and then the next order of business is stone brick. So let's do that next. Now for stone brick, uh, we only need half as many furnaces. Wait a minute, am I saying that right? No. Stone brick takes, oh yes, yes, I am saying that right. We only need half as many furnaces as we have up here because these take, let's fix this now, because stone brick takes two pieces of stone for every brick, whereas when you're making iron plate, it takes one ore for every plate. Um, so you only need half as many furnaces and it'll consume a full belt of stone. If you put more furnaces, they're just going to be empty. All right. So that's two, four, six, that's eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, wait a minute. No, we only want 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Got a little carried away there. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot what order we do these in at this point. Let's start doing landfill. That's good to have. 
Uh, let's take a look at our map. So I still haven't haven't heard a peep from any biters. And we're doing good on power, so that's good. Okay. And how do we set this up? All right, so splitters like that. Cool, like that. All right, uh, so now we need to bring up some stone, which we don't have yet. And actually, I realize now that I didn't even really leave room for a belt of stone to come up here. Um, I suppose we could bring up the stone here. That'll be fine. Let's move that down one more. Okay, and then we'll bring in the stone on this belt. And we'll pull it from there. And I'm also going to have a belt of stone going to the main bus. So um, we're going to need some mining drills for that. Let's go ahead and make as many as we can. Okay, good. Landfill's done. So uh, that's something else we can do with our stone. We'll start uh, filling up a box of landfill so that we have some available when we need it. Which probably won't be for a while, but it does take a long time to get a significant quantity made. Let's do fluid handling, that's important. Okay, um, yeah, I think, I think now we just need the stone. Let's just, let's use all of the mining drills that we have. No point in skimping. We're going to need them all eventually. Okay, and then we power these up. No, there we go. Consumption again. Okay, we're doing fine. And we ought to put a turret here. Just in case we get any unexpected visitors. Okay, and um, the stone brick is something that we're often going to need to take large quantities of, especially as we start paving our base. Uh, so I'm going to set up a buffer here, similar to what we did on the coal, so that we can just stockpile a bunch of the stone bricks, and then whenever we need a bunch of it, we can just come and take it from these chests. All right, and then we'll place our lights. Okay. We are in business. All right. Um, so now I think we can probably start laying out the main bus. So let's take a look at that. Uh, so we're gonna have iron here, we're gonna have copper, and then we got steel and stone. So what if we what if we start laying out 
What if we use this line here where the copper smelting is? We'll extend this path out and then we'll put the bus below it and we'll start putting production above it. All right, so <clears throat> I have a lot of stone brick with me already, um, but I'll go ahead and grab what extra I can from here. This may be too much, honestly, to begin with right now. And then the other thing that we'll do is the area to the left of the smelting area is what will eventually become the train station for the starter base. And that's where we'll start to, so we can bring in ore um, from outside once these patches deplete. But I, I don't expect that that's gonna happen for quite some time. All right, so we'll do advanced material. You know what, let's do circuit network next. Because I think I may want that before I want steel furnaces. Okay, so let's say, yeah, let's say we're going to start things off, that this is going to be the border, no, I don't want that to be the border of the smelting area, I think we need to make it farther out, okay, so if that's the bus, we'll have... We're gonna have four belts of copper coming down this way. They'll jump across like such. And then they will join the main bus like that. Well, not just like that. So I'm going to want one, two, All right, that'll be the first one, two, three, four. Okay. I'll pick these up just because we're, <laughs> we can't just be throwing these things around. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, and then we could do something like this. Is that gonna work? Yeah, that, sh oh, you know what though? I don't wanna, this might get in the way of, this might get in the way of my iron. Okay. Let's, let's move it out a little bit more. You know, we don't wanna, we've got, space is one thing that you rarely run out of in this game, so. Let's just enjoy the luxury of all the space that we have. And we'll extend that out a bit more. Okay. One, two, and then four. Whoops. One, two, and then four. Okay. All right, so this will be, this will be where the bus officially starts. Circuit network done. What do we want next? Stack inserters. Let's do that now. And we'll continue this path. There we go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna extend it yet because I'm not sure where the bottom of our bus is going to want to be. We need to plan that out first, but we can go ahead and extend this a bit. 
Well, and we can consider this to be the start of our production area as well. Right, so we could uh, start placing, wouldn't you know it. Well, it's too late now. I'm gonna have to move this. Okay, so I won't put a power pole down there, but that's gonna have to be there and that's gonna have to be there. All right, so I need that to come down here. And that one will go over there. Okay. Right, so this will be the first production slot or stall or lane. Let's see. Yeah, we're leaving one tile in between. Yeah, so right here. And then the next one will be there. And then we could even throw in, we could throw in some lights uh, on the corners. Yeah, I wish these things were three tiles. We'll just go on the the inner edge like that. There. All right, so this is where we'll put um well, probably we'll start doing green circuits. I think that'd be a good thing to do there. Okay, now in the case of iron, one, two, and right there is where the iron is going to go. What am I missing? Iron plate. I think I know where I can get some. So that's going to be the start and end of the iron bus. Um, yeah, and actually, let's uh, let's bring this up with plenty of extra space. No, <laughs> that's where the other iron lines are going to go. Sorry. Because I need to bring some other stuff up here, right? So there's two. I'm going to need steel. I'm going to need stone, stone brick, coal. That's about all I can think of right now. And then two spaces, one, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, okay. So we'll bring the iron up there. And the iron line that we have now is going to go there. Okay, and we can run the steel line as well. Oops. Stone brick will go there. Stone. We can also start to run. Um, we can just use a splitter for now. Eventually, we'll need more drills to do that because the the stone brick uh, production that we have will consume an entire red belt or yellow belt just by itself. So. We'll eventually need two sets of drills, one to feed this and the other one to feed up there. OK, 
Okay, stack inserters done. Yeah, and let's start doing stack inserter capacity. That's going to be useful um, because once we get capacity bonus 2 done, that's going to increase the throughput of all inserters by 1. So even the blue, yellow, and red inserters will be able to pick up two items at a time. Let's see if I can get a few more belts made here. Just so we can finish this off. This one will be reserved. And then down here we can have, I don't think I need four, I don't need four belts of green circuits. I need, I think I need two green, one red, one blue. And then we can have, we got plenty of space for other stuff too. So we'll define the bottom edge of this sometime later. Um, I think I should also include some space for science packs. Because if we do green and red circuits here, let's say we start doing red and green science here. We can put the labs next to that. But then when we do science packs in other parts of the base, we're going to have to feed them back over this way. So, so I think we might want to, I think it might be a good idea if I shift all this down by four belts. You know, like if I leave this, if I leave this part open and start with the copper down here instead, I think that might be better. So... I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just put copper here, iron here, and then I'll move these three belts down there. I'll work on that uh, between now and the next episode. So we have that all ready to go. Until then, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.